We had momentum from Liverpool, from Partizan, from Norwich, from Chelsea. And United there have gone and deflated the momentum massively with a 1-0 defeat away to Bournemouth in what was an absolutely horrendous game to watch for United fan. From the first minute to the last minute, I would say Bournemouth were in pretty much complete control. Really, really poor performance from United. The same 11 that we used against Norwich, but an entirely different performance. A, a, a team which almost looked hungover from the game against Chelsea because everything that we saw and praised against Chelsea, we saw pretty much the complete opposite today against Bournemouth. That They were comfortable in defence again. It was a defensive lapse which caused our problems at the back. And the same thing can be said from the Liverpool game, the Norwich game, the Chelsea game, and now Bournemouth. It was a bad defensive error which caused the goal. It wasn't a brilliant bit of work from Josh King, who obviously had to score the winner. It was wan sort of going in too aggressively and leaving himself goal side open. Victor Lindelof, wrong place, wrong time for a defender. It was almost slow motion, their goal. And United had absolutely nothing to offer going forward today. There was no space. Bournemouth, it's, it's almost laughable. I said it on Twitter after the game. But it's almost laughable how easy it is to defend against United. Because all you've got to do is sort of sit disciplined, sit in your shape, make sure you stay compact. And United can't break you down. And the same problems that have caused us issues against other teams reared their ugly head today against Bournemouth. And it's such a shame because, as I said, Liverpool, Partizan, Norwich and Chelsea, momentum was building. You could see what United were doing and we were doing it right and it was working. And then Bournemouth happened. And it all went out the window. As I said, everything that I praised Solskjaer for in that Chelsea game, I saw the opposite today. Where was the tactical switch? United kept going and going and going with the same thing that didn't work. And bringing Jesse Lingard on isn't going to really help unlock a team. He's not that sort of player. Why matter would have been better in that situation. So in terms of in-game management, I thought Solskjaer was poor today. I think every United player was poor today. And it does get on my nerves now that just this poor defence. It's, it, it's not that it's a poor defence. It's that in the same way that Fabian Barthez was a cracking goalkeeper, he was a nut job, And he was capable of making mad mistakes out of nowhere. This defence is the exact same. Largely, it's very confident, very comfortable. But pretty much most games, they will give opportunities to the other team that a good defence just would not. And it's... United's undoing today. Had our attack been better, we might have actually created some chances. I think Dan James' shot in the first half, which went just wide, was probably the best chance that we had in that game. We didn't have many chances whatsoever. And when United don't create, it's an awful game to watch. And today was one of those days. Absolutely zero creativity up against a team that sits a little bit more compact we passed sideways, we passed sideways. There weren't enough balls breaking through the lines, like Maguire passing up towards Rashford. started happening towards the second half, but it didn't happen enough. And Bournemouth were happy and comfortable sitting in their shape. And we conceded just before half-time. It's just such a, a poor goal to concede, an overall very, very poor performance. And it just puts a massive downer on the momentum that I think we're, I would say, still building. But that today was, as I said, United played hungover today. So it just looks like they just weren't ready for the game. Didn't have anything to offer when Bournemouth were in control of it. And it's the same old issue that we've seen against Wolves in the one all draw. Loads and loads of times this season with United, just sitting compact and sitting disciplined is the easiest way to defend. It's the simplest way to defend, but it's, it works against United. As I said, it's laughable how easy it is to defend against United if you, if you do have a 1-0 lead. We're bad at breaking teams down like that, and it will happen again this season. But the momentum is clearly there for me against teams which come out against us that are aggressive. But a team that wants to sit back and has a 1-0 lead, 
there's a lot of question marks, marks sorry, to ask about this United team that I'm not sure will go away. And today was a 1-0 loss, which is going to sap momentum out of this team. Sap momentum out of Solskjaer. Who have we got next? Is it Partizan? Is it Astana? I don't know. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. But it's not a game to talk about a man of the match. It's a game to talk about United's problems, which reared their ugly head again today. And I think the reality is that Solskjaer doesn't have an answer to a team which sits back in shape and is hard to break down because it's happened far too often and it's a pattern that keeps repeating itself. And if we can't break that down after we've built momentum like we did against Norwich and Partizan and Liverpool and Chelsea, when are we? That's the real question. Let me know what you think about that game in the comments below. But massively disappointed from United after such a big high from Chelsea. That's a real crash back down to earth against Bournemouth.